How do you paint an aircraft? Painting an aircraft is a very complex process that requires up to two weeks of work and sometimes over 1000 liters of paint. Coating are certainly important to improve aesthetics but their main role is actually to protect the aeroplane against corrosion while improving its aerodynamic properties. Approximately every five to seven years an airline has to undergo a new coating phase in order to able to continue flying safely in the sky. Painting an aircraft is a complex, precise, multi-step process that must be carried out to perfection in order to achieve optimum result in terms of both aesthetic and above all efficiency and safety. The coating process. Before painting, a masking phase is carried out to protect any area that do not need to coat it, such as windows, engines and electrical equipments. Even the size of an average commercial aircraft, this takes about two days to complete. The next step is that of surface preparation. Since in most cases the plane is to be painted is not new, but an aircraft to be repainted as a maintenance operation. The previous layer of paint must be removed before a new coating is applied. There are two ways of removing an existing layer of paint, mechanical and chemical stripping. In the former case, the surface is sanded, however, it is a very demanding and time consuming process. In the latter case, that is chemical paint stripping, the coating layers are eliminated by using a special chemical to dissolve and remove all paint residues. A surface control phase follows paint stripping. A certified aircraft mechanic must inspect the plane before proceeding with the coating phase. As many crack or surface defects must be repaired before proceeding to the next step. This is followed by a surface preparation and coating phase consisting in the application of a primer that fosters the addition of subsequent layers and of a base coat, often white as explained later on. The plane is then decorated with the airline, livery and the colors, logos and further details are added using stencils. Finally, a transparent top coat is applied, which seals the previous layers of paint provide protection against erosion by airflow, all types of fluids and UV radiation. A layer of protective paint is also applied to safeguard the aircraft against corrosion. Two main types of paint can be used on aircraft, enamel and epoxy. Epoxy is a polyurethane paint that adhered well to the surface, has a high resistance to chemical and does not fade, oxides or break easily. Enamel on the other hand is a cheaper and less dangerous because it does not contain release certain gases when sprayed. These two products are also often used in combination with each other. The coating must be applied evenly, paying attention to the amount of paint applied to each side. Every layer adds significant weight to the aircraft and any weight difference between the two sides could make the plane unstable. This is checked with a precision laser which measures the amount of paint deposited on the fuselage. At the end of the whole process, the aeroplane has to pass a test phase consisting of a series of test flights without passengers in order to check the correct functioning of all its elements. An aircraft coating process can take from few days to some weeks depends on the size of plane and the color scheme's complexity. Why are most aircraft are painted white? Most of the aeroplanes in our skies are white. This is no coincidence. Of course, each brand has its own livery with its own logo, various decorations and colored strips. But the main hue of body of aircraft is usually white. There are several reasons for this. First one, it reflects sunlight. The main reason why aircrafts are painted white because white is a color that best reflects sunlight, unlike other tin that absorb it. Planes are constantly exposed to sunlight both while flying and when parked on airport. Therefore, white minimizes the heating on the interior and prevents potential damage caused by sunlight.
too. It fades more slowly than other colors. Traveling at high altitude, aeroplanes are exposed to various atmospheric and weather conditions, including ice, wind, rain, and temperature changes, which quickly de deteriorate the paint layers. Colored paints tend to fade faster than white. They require more frequent maintenance to preserve their aesthetics, as it decorated less quickly than other colors. Therefore, white saves cost associated with the painting and grounding the aircraft. 3. It is cheaper and lighter. Aircraft paints are special coatings that contain polyurethane substance and various hardeners and activators. And those cost is much higher than when compared to the product used in other industries. Among all the colors available, white paint is the cheapest on the market. In fact, the economic factors play a major role in the selection of tint. Since the area of the airline is so large and that is required 250 to 1100 kg of paint. Specifically, painting a Boeing 737 requires at least 240 liters of paint, whereas the Airbus A380, the largest commercial aircraft ever, calls for up to 3600 liters. The color chosen also has impact on plane's weight. The heavier the aircraft, the higher the fuel consumption and lower the profit of the airline. Although the applied paint layer is generally thin, given the extent of surfaces, it can increase the weight of aircraft by up to, to 550 kg. Among the products on the market, white paints are the thinnest and therefore the lightest one. For this reason, to white remains the perfect color for aircraft paint. 4. It reduces the risk of bird strikes. In aviation, the term bird strikes indicate the impact between the aircraft and a bird. Bird strikes occurs in most cases during takeoff, landing or lower flying, whereas it rarely occurs at high altitude. Any impact with a bird is a significant threat in terms of aircraft safety. Although its severity depends on the weight of animal, the difference in speed and the direction of collision. Using the white, improving the visibility of aircraft and it increases its destruction by bird. Thus avoid impact. 5. It makes it easier to detect damage. Aeroplanes are regularly checked to ensure they are safe. A white makes it easier and faster to identify surface damage such as cracks, dents and other defects. ITA Airways, Italy's national airlines recently created following the takeover of Alintalia, spotted a metallic blue livery. However, the chosen color has raised some criticism because according to the investigation by Italian newspaper Domini, it appears to weigh up to 300 kg more per plane due to the use of mica to achieve the metallic effect. An increase in weight would result into more fuel wastage and a greater impact on environment, as well as the competitive disadvantages since the fuel consumption has become the first item to be cut in order to reduce cost and increase profit margins. In addition, the metallic color would prove to be impractical in terms of maintenance, particularly in the belly of aircraft where small hydraulic leak often occurs and where the paint tends to spoil quickly. As well as to a functional use, any oil leak could therefore also lead to a aesthetic problem, unless the frequency with which the aircraft is repainted is reduced.